let's consider this example from the bilinear transformation. So for the transformation, W is equal to T1Z equal to Z plus 2 over Z plus 3. And there is another transformation that is T2Z that is equal to Z over Z plus 1. And we have to find T1 inverse, T2 inverse, then the product of T2, T1, the product of T1, T2 and T2 inverse T1Z. This we need to find. For these two transformations, first we have to find T1 inverse. Now, what is W? W is for T1 inverse, I'm going to take W as Z plus 2 over Z plus 3. And if I take Z plus 3 to the other side, then it is multiplied with this W and we get WZ plus 3W is equal to Z plus 2. And on solving this further, getting Z in terms of W, we get Z to be as equal to 2 minus 3W over W minus 1, right? So, as we know that this W is equal to T1Z and if I take T1 to the other side, then it becomes T1 inverse W that is equal to Z. And we have just now calculated Z as 2 minus 3 W over W minus 1. So, Z equal to T inverse W that is equal to 2 minus 3 W over W minus 1. So, T1 inverse is 2 minus 3 W over W minus 1. So, this is how we calculate the inverse of T1. So, for T2 inverse, again, we take W is equal to so, for T2 inverse, W is equal to Z over Z plus 1. And calculating Z in terms of W, we get Z to be equal to negative W over W minus 1. And as we know that W is equal to T2Z, so from here we get T2 inverse W is equal to Z. So, T2 inverse W is equal to Z and we have calculated Z to be as negative W over W minus 1. So, therefore, T2 inverse is negative W over W minus 1. Right? And now, third part is calculating T2, T1, Z. So, it can be written as T2 into, okay, what is T1, Z? It is Z plus 2 over Z plus 3. As we know that, T2 is equal to Z over Z plus 1. So, to calculate T2, Z plus 2 over Z plus 3, we have to replace this Z with Z plus 2 over Z plus 3. So, writing T2 as Z over Z plus 1, so this will become Z is z plus 2 over z plus 3 divided by this z plus 1. So, it is z plus 2 over z plus 3 plus 1. And when you solve this numerator and denominator, you will get then finally this to be equal to z plus 2 over 2z plus 5. Right? Okay, then calculating T1, T2, Z. Likewise, just writing this as T1 and writing T2, Z as what is T2? It is given to be Z over Z plus 1. Right? And what is T1? Z plus 2 over Z plus 3. So, to calculate T1, Z over Z plus 1, we have to replace this Z with Z over Z plus 1. So, writing here the numerator z plus 2 as z over z plus 1 plus 2 divided by denominator is z plus 3. So, writing this as z over z plus 1 plus 3. And when you solve this completely, you will get at last 3z plus 2 over 4z plus 3. And then calculating T2 inverse T1. 
So T2 inverse, what is T1? T1 is from here we can write Z plus 2 over Z plus 3. And we have just now calculated T2 inverse in second part. So T2 inverse is negative W over W minus 1. So as T2 inverse is negative W over W minus 1. So to calculate T2 inverse of Z plus 2 over Z plus 3, we have to replace this W with Z plus 2 over Z plus 3. So numerator is negative W. So here numerator becomes negative of Z plus 2 over Z plus 3. And then the denominator is W minus 1. So denominator becomes Z plus 2 over Z plus 3 minus 1. And when you solve this numerator and denominator, then you will get finally the answer as Z plus 2. So this is how we calculate all these transformations, the product of the transformations, inverse of the transformations, right? Okay, thank you.